The gardener is the patsy. The gardener needs to be the straight man and needs <laughs> it needs to unthinkingly be foiled by this goose for the whole thing to work. As soon as any of these people have a little bit of sort of cunning, the jokes fall apart, I think. When we were finishing our last game, Push Me Pull You, we had a bunch of different ideas sort of floating around. Like we knew what we were interested in exploring for our next game. Like we knew that we wanted to make a game in 3D and we wanted to make a single player thing. And we were very interested in like kind of depictions of community and having this character that you could, as a player, kind of puppeteer. Yeah, Stuart made the joke about the goose. That was our colleague Stuart, uh, Stuart Gillespie Cook. There was never any intent to actually make a game about it. He just saw like a stock photo and remembered that geese were funny conceptually, I guess. And yeah, dropped that in. And then we, we sort of all agreed that geese were very funny. The sort of original pitch for our for this for this goose version of the game that we wanted to make was that there would be sort of this this very like large scale simulated kind of fate this like English fate I guess like a country fair is kind of the American equivalent we we didn't really think through how complicated it would be to uh, kind of design and program a kind of completely simulated like systemic fate and so then what happened then was sort of this very slow I guess process of like winnowing down the concept to rather than be about this like massive crowd of people it's a it, it became this sort of collection of a handful of people. One of the earliest prototypes of the game was like a very very rough version of the the garden that's in the game now but it's not just a big open green space with a man who looked very similar to our current groundskeeper and the goose. The sort of basic you know, building blocks were there. Use this thing called inverse kinematics, which is a way to make, you know, game characters look at stuff, basically. It's just set the goose to look at where the gardener was. No matter where he was in the world, the goose would just turn its head towards it. And the gardener would do the same with the goose. Just having two characters look at each other in silence, just that sort of eye contact creates this relationship that you can put so much meaning into. Um, and that happened very early on. The way that I've always thought about it up until now, I think, is that just it turns out people have strong feelings about geese, maybe without ever realizing how strongly they felt about it. And so someone coming along and pointing it out creates a moment of joy or something. I feel like, yeah, there probably is something more interesting there and I'm not sure what it is yet, though. Yeah, I don't think we figured it out. Huh? Oh. <laughs>